Right, so, you see all this forest over here? Soon, that is going to be no longer. We will be clearing out all these trees to be making room for our zoo. Don't worry, we'll replant all these trees elsewhere. In our exhibits, of course. Oh man, so we're going to be taking up all these trees and kind of like merging them into one big giant custom tree, which is going to be for our zoo entrance. So yeah, I got this kind of all a little bit planned out here. Look at that mountain, that prolific giant mountain. Oh, I definitely have to do something with that mountain one day. As we have a ton of ground to cover. I mean, look at this. We've got our redwood forest, um, some more forests over here. I mean, tons of space. I've been kind of looking in, looking, looking with an overview um, of the forest. And like I said, I think what we need to do is just kind of clear this all out. There are kind of just saplings from the stuff that like doesn't want to grow at all. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and clear out all these trees. We're going to make room for our, our zoo. Like we're going to really start getting into our zoo, you guys. We're going to be adding in our forest exhibits. We're going to be making room for all the forest exhibits that we're going to have. Like I said, for our cougar catamount line exhibit, which I think I'm going to have a little bit over here. We'll probably fill up this little river as well. Um, fill it up with a little bit of dirt and grass, of course, um, to make it all look natural. Just making the room, you guys. Oh, it's going to be so exciting, you guys. Um, oh, man. So, hello, everyone. And welcome to Zoo Crafting. Oh, man. My poor tree. My poor tree in the back. Poor little tree. We really need to get rid of that death bloom. And I'm thinking pretty soon. We need to get rid of it before that little rotting uh, gets worse. But all right, so hello everyone and welcome to Zoo Crafting. Today we are currently um, surveying the forest and oh, just read a piece of grass there. Um, currently we are surveying the forest, you know, getting it all ready for our forest exhibits. We're going to be taking up all these trees and we're going to be um, merging them into like our little zoo entrance. For our zoo entrance, we'll have like a little giant custom little tree um, that will, you can go in, you can like walk in, you'll be able to like view all the forest exhibits. We'll have like a little archways. Um, I mean, it's going to look all oh, cool we're gonna be decking this out really good um, but I want to get like a little bit better of an overview so one by one we're gonna take out all these trees um, and make room for our little exhibit here so let's just go ahead and take these all out to poor trees but you know we gotta we gotta take them out they're all overgrown and old anyway they've been they've been sitting here for almost a hundred episodes you gotta you obviously gotta know they've been pretty old you know uh, but all right so we got the moss mm hmm I'm gonna go ahead and just start Clearing away all these trees. Hopefully it won't take that long. Um, we're going to need all this wood, though, um, as well for our little... What is this over here? I'm not sure. We're going to need all this wood anyway for our uh, little custom giant tree. I want to build, like, a little giant tree for our zoo entrance, you know, making it look all good. Um, I want to fill up this little river as well with some grass. It'll be, it'll be a little bit better once we have more room. Oh, man, we really, really need to take care of that. I think we should make some TNT and blow that thing up because that... Uh, not blow up our tree, but blow up the little death bloom. Yeah, you can see the water. Everything's becoming a little bit rotting. There's some zombies around here. It's just not a fun time. Um, we'll go and get some dirt and fill this little river up so we can make room. Like, we'll have our little cougar catamount lion exhibit right over here. Um, we'll have, like, a lot of our forest exhibits kind of lined up right here. And then, of course, when you walk over a little bit over here, we'll, we'll see we'll have our reptile house. Um, all right, that reminds me. Where is Lillian Tate? Um, Lillian Tate... Where'd you guys go? Oh, we got our cougars in here. Your exhibit is, um, in progress, currently. Um, we still haven't gotten it done, but it'll be kind of like a little, it'll be kind of like this. It'll be where you can see at the bottom, and there'll be a giant little, um, pit. Well, there'll be, like, a waterfall, um, a giant little cave. I mean, that's what we're gonna basically have. So, Lillian Tate, where'd you guys go? Hello? I'm trying to find Lillian Tate. I think they're in the staff lounge. Oh, here you guys. Did you have a nice nap? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Looks like Lily got the bed tonight. Um, see, we're on flesh. Let's see. It's going to take some dog food on us. We don't want to run out of dog food because that's not a good time. I learned that the very hard way, guys. All right. We've got some training treats on us. I try to keep them on us in case in case Lily and Tate get injured. Um, I still haven't really cleared out all the, the plants. I'm trying to keep them on me so I can kind of decorate this stuff. Look at all these plants you have to decorate with, you guys. Oh, man. I'm not going to make it like a full-on, like, flower garden. Just, you know, kind of just sprinkle around and plus for our other exhibits as well. Like, I want to add, like, a little duck exhibit. Um, I think I want to do the bears, though, as well. The bears is definitely something I want to get done on the list. But, all right. So, we got to timber away all these trees. Um, you know, just kind of one step at a time as we timber away all the trees. Um, and, yeah, we're going to be pretty much cutting them all down. Which is, which is kind of sad, but, you know, we got to make room for our zoo. And, yeah, we're going to be really spicing this place up. I mean, it's just going to look so fantastic, you guys. You know, I love an actual proper zoo tour. Like, when we do our zoo tour 
for our 100th episode, like, we're gonna, I want an actual zoo to tour, like, I don't want, I don't want there to just be, like, almost nothing here, like, I want to have at least something, um, uh, because, you know, this is taking a lot longer than I expected it to, like, you'd think by, like, almost episode 100, we'd already have, like, all of our, we'd have, like, a full-on zoo and everything, but no, because, you know, we're kind of working daily, you know, um, every episode we work, we get a little bit more stuff done each day, you know, I try not to mess around too much, you know, I try to save all the extra stuff for, like, side quests and stuff like that, so, you know, we don't get caught up with stuff, but, you know, like I said, you know, one project leads to another, and then as soon as you get that done, you have, like, five more things to do, and it just gets a little bit too much, you know, you know what I mean, so, it's kind of why this whole thing has been taking so long, I mean, the reptile house, that took me at least 60 episodes to build that entire reptile house, all those exhibits in there. So I would like at least something, like some kind of entrance and at least one more exhibit before we start a little zoo tour. So yeah, like I said, it's been almost 100 days worth of work and you know, I'm just kind of glad to get all this stuff out of the way um, as we pursue on to other projects. So there's a lot of cool stuff you got. You got Dr. Nami's lab, the reptile house, our cougar exhibit. Um, I want to build like a little, we actually did get the uh, little blocks mod working on here, um, and I'll show you what the little blocks mod is, actually I, can, I guess I can show you guys right now, so basically, do I have a piece of dirt on me, alright, so to make the little blocks, the little blocks wand, you basically just take a piece of dirt, like literally like this, and boom, little blocks wand, and then if you, oh, here we go, and if you right click an area, like this, oh, is that that, okay, there we go, so now, you can add, like, little tiny blocks, like, into little pixels. So if I wanted to build, like, a little statue, look at that! Pretty neat, right? Look at that. So I can just build, like, a little sculpture um, in little miniature versions. So that's going to be awesome for adding detail in. Um, if I wanted to, like, copy this, I actually could. Um, let's see. Copy. Uh, I'm not sure how you copy it. Um, uh, oh, sorry. That feature is only available in creative mode. Okay, well, you get the point. So let's see. If we just uh, do destroy mode... Um, we'll be able to take away all the little blocks right here. And then if we wanted to remove this little area so you can't, like, put little blocks on it, we just get rid of it like this. Hold on, you, you, you go like this. Okay, you, you, you go like this. Okay, is it gone? Is it gone? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I haven't figured out how to totally work this mod out. Hold on. I did it in creative mode. It didn't. And rotate to copy. Destroy. Boom. Should be gone. No, it's still, it's still little blocks. Uh, hang on. Hang on a minute. There. Okay, good. It's gone. Oh, man. I think that only works in, uh, in creative mode. Alright, so I'm still working, still trying to work out how to get the little blocks while working. So you can basically make, like, a little tiny area right here, and you can make, like, little tiny sculptures, which I think is just so cool, um, and fantastic. So kind of, like, little miniature, miniature, miniature sculptures, so, which will be just so good for building a zoo like this. I mean, we'll be able to add so much detail um, for our caves, everything. I mean, it's going to be fantastic, you guys. I'm super excited for it, you guys. Um, but all right, so we're going to go have, we're going to go have to like clear out this little hill right here. Like these little hills right here, we can't really have. We can't have them right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear out this hill, make some room for our zoo and, you know, really make this come together. Like I feel like once we get our little entrance or tree, giant tree entrance, we'll really make this come together. We should also go to bed pretty soon as well. All right. But just some um, little forest ranger duties, you know. Um, we're also seriously running out of food. Like, we have no food left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop into the garden and see if there's anything I can kind of snag on us. Let's see. This chest has been sitting here forever. Um, just kind of some random lint, so I've never never really put back on the chest yet. Um, in the last episode, we kind of de decorated this out a little bit. I'm still trying to get books, but we don't have any sugar cane. So I've been trying to put some little bookshelves right here. I did, like, cheapskate my way and didn't put any bookshelves right here. So, yeah, I've kind of decorated this out a little bit. You know, I figured if we're ever going to have other YouTubers potentially come on to the zoo one day, you know, we got to make this area look a little bit better. Um, and also just because it didn't look really good before. So you, I had, like, a little chimney right here. You know, one day I want to make it look a little bit better. We had, like, a little giant little potted plant right here. You know, just making the staff launch look a little bit nicer. Um, but all right, so, yeah, also, I think it's raining. I hear rain. Hmm. Let's see. True or false? Yeah, I think it was raining. All right. Rainy day. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Let's see. Oh, we got some more of this. Now, uh, these melons actually have not grown because, uh, Amaryllis plants all these roses around here. I think I'm just going to call you, uh, Red. You're going to be called Red. And this chicken will plant down roses wherever he walks, so, uh, the melons haven't had any chances to grow. There we go. Do, do, do. Um, we'll go ahead and make some toast. That toast is actually very, very filling. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, got cooked pork chop. Let's see. I'm not going to pick favorites. Um, we'll go ahead and just put this in here. And whoever gets it first, I guess, gets it. All right. And then let's go ahead and make some bread. 
I'm so tired of eating pasta and bread. Oh, man. Oh, threw my wheat on the floor. No, it's gonna get all dirty. Okay. Alright, we got bread in here. Let's go ahead, go ahead and cook this up and make some, like, yummy, yummy toast. Um, there is really not much food we have available, you guys. It's been a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, tight, I guess you could say, with the food. Um, what can we do with garlic? Garlic? Uh, spicy mustard po- Ooh, stuffed eggplants. We got spicy mustard pork. Um, spicy greens. Ooh, that sounds so yummy, but look how expensive it is. Look at all this ingredients, man. Um, see, we got, um, garlic bread. Actually, I think that's something we could actually make right now. Um, butter. Butter, butter, butter. I don't think we could do that. I'm not in the mood for cooking. I think we could do, like, cooking for, like, side quests and stuff, you know? Because I want to get my little, you know, zoo and everything cleared out. I want to make room for our exhibits, you know? And I figured by the next, by the time the next episode starts, we'll already have, like, our giant tree. I want to build, like, a little giant tree right here as well. So, basically, like, I'd say, like, right where this, uh, area is right here. I want to build a little giant tree. And this giant tree will, um, be, like, a little, uh, viewing type tree. And you can go through it, and there'll be, like, a little pathway. And the pathway will go down here through this hill. Um, and I guess that's where the, uh, first exhibit will start. We'll have to, like, mark them, like, we'll put, like, little signs saying, like, oh, this will be this exhibit or something like that. Like, I figured maybe, like, right here, um, will be our cougar, cougar exhibit, and then, like, right next to it we'll have, like, our bears, um, you know, just kind of the stuff like that. You know, however it comes together, we'll make it work. But, alright. Here we go. So, yeah, like I said, we just need to make it to come together, you know. Maybe we won't, we won't have a bear exhibit. Maybe it'll be, uh, a duck exhibit or a bunny exhibit. Um, just kind of like that, so, yeah. And we'll also be basing all these animals, you know, based off of real-life animals, you know. We're not gonna just be doing some, like, random bunny exhibits or whatever like that. We're gonna be doing it off of, you know, like, for, if we were gonna do bunnies, we would do, like, the cottontails, you know what I mean? Um, same for our cougars, like, we'll do the mountain lions, you know what I mean? So, just kind of the stuff like that. Right, yep, just some forest ranger duties. Um, and if we ever see, like, a little, um, black bear, we'll go ahead and, like, capture it so that we can just, you know, keep it on hold and put it inside of one of the exhibits. We'll probably name tag it so that it doesn't do it. Oh, jeez. Our tree looks like it's getting worse by the day. We really need to get that TNT. And I don't, I just don't want to, like, put things off, but, like, I, we just have so much to do in the zoo. It's, like, constant. All right. You know, thankfully, our erosion shovel breaks us with ease. Alright, so it's going to take all this out. Mm-hmm. Making the area, you know, nice and flat. we got to fill up this little lake and everything. Um, just kind of like the typical stuff like that. But yeah, so we're going to get all this cleared up by, um, by the next episode starts. Um, we actually did add another mod. Not only did we add the little blocks mod, we also added the little modular flower pot mod, which adds some cool little fences. I didn't really care for the flower pots. I mean, the flower pots are cool, but it actually adds these really cool fences. Um, oh my god, we're getting so much stuff. Whoa, okay, so much dirt. Whoa, okay, lots of dirt, I see. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be able to use all the dirt to fill up the little lake and everything, because like I said, I want to build a lot of exhibits. Also, that is our home up there, which we haven't been our home in a long time. I feel kind of bad for, like, neglecting it. Alright. I'm gonna grow so many flowers, can't even keep up with it anymore. Um, so yeah, like I said, we gotta clear this area out, we gotta take away all the trees. I mean, honestly, we feel like I feel like we have so much more space now that we're seeing all the trees cleared out. But alright. Here we go. I really like that area, though, that we found. When we were go we were, when we were forging for flowers, um, we found this little area. It was just, it was just like, a, an open plain. It had, like, a little, um, an autumn hills on top of it, uh, the, the biome. And it was just a really pleasant area to build, like, an exhibit in. I really liked it. Alright. Your, your exhibit is in progress, cougars, I'd say. I've been promising their exhibit for over 30 episodes now. We found these cougars, um... About like on, I think on episode 60 something, and I've been promising their exhibit for quite a while, you know? And like I said, I just wanna, oh, uh, go away. Alright, and um, I wanna have, um, I wanna have uh, their exhibit done pretty soon. Like I said, I just want a lot of stuff before we do our zoo tour. Like I said, we need to like really get serious, you guys. We need to really focus, get our exhibits done. You know, we've only gotten one thing done, and it's been a hundred episodes. You can't blame me, though, because there are mo there are at least seven exhibits we've done in that reptile house. So, you know, we've kind of gotten so some stuff done. But, you know, I just want the other stuff done, you know what I mean? And, like I said, if we have the resources to get an exhibit done, the faster it'll come together. You know, for resources that are harder to get, like coral, it takes a long time to get that kind of stuff done. And, you know, we never even found the coral in the end. We had to get it from, um, Dr. Nami. Which we should check up on Dr. Nami soon. I was thinking about giving him, like, a little friend he could kind of study with or something like that. Um, whether it's an NPC or something like that. Just give him something he can 
um, something new he can study because I know he gets a little bit bored and, you know, we haven't checked on Do Dr. Nami in a very, very long time. All right. There we go. We got just a random man, naked man swimming in the water. That's fine. Don't look. All right. Let's so go ahead and clear all this out. Here we go. Oh my god, thank god for this this uh, erosion shovel. Like I said, I've been just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to clear all this out, make room for exhibits. I feel bad, though, for, like, ruining the forest, but, you know, at the same time, we're, you know, making uh, conservation for all of our animals in Zugesia, so it's coming together pretty nicely. Oh, man, look at this. Look at all this flat land. I just love seeing flat, open land to work with, you guys. All right, let's go and take away this tree. We're also going to need the leaves for it, too. We got so many seeds. Um... Yeah, we need, like, a seed chest. Oh my gosh, we filled up all three backpacks, you guys. Uh, too much stuff. I can't keep up with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take all these leaves. We're gonna need all the leaves. Not the birch leaves, but these, uh, oak leaves to build our custom tree. And I think we just broke our, our pair of shears. Oh, jeez. All right, can I not put anything else in here? Um, and I also figure that, you know, once we cure, uh, Junior in his little shed over there, we'll probably make that, like, a little storage area for our plants. Uh, believe me, we should do that. Actually, let's not wait. Like, let's just do that now. Uh, because we have too much... Eh, we have too much plants and stuff on us. We should just definitely do that right now. And we figured, no, let's just wait for until Junior moves out of here. Alright, hello, Junior. How are you doing? Still under here, right? I think he is. Junior? Uh... Oh, I heard you. There we go, Junior. Alright, Cure is on the way. Um, I want to cure you for the 100th episode special. Don't I've been promising for so long. Okay. So, let's make some uh, chests real quickly, and we'll just kind of store them in here. Look how much wood we have. Good, 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 good. So, let's make some chests, and these will be to kind of store all of our plants in here for now. We'll have different kinds of types and themes, I guess you could say. So, just get, just get them all out, okay? Just get them all out. So, let's go ahead and put this in here. Alright, all these flowers are unneeded. No, 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 no. Unneeded. I mean, they are needed, but, like, just not to have an... A lot of uh, cluttered, you know? There's mainly these seeds. These seeds are everywhere. Also, look at these seven carrots. Look at this. Look at just random carrots hanging around in here. We've got these carnations who will never stack, apparently. All right. We've got some more daisies, um, carnations, some more hazented ferns. Um, just kind of like the little flowers and plants in here. Um, let's see, we've got some more flowers and plants in here. Here we go. We've got more in there. There we go. More of you in there. And then anything else in here? Nope, just a bunch of other stuff we don't need. Um, well, we do need, but, you know. Okay, alright. Sorry, you guys, I'm just so tired. Very, very tired. Look at all these azaleas, so many different kinds of colors, I love it. This is probably my, like, my favorite backpack with, worth of stuff. Alright. Here you go, guys. Bob, Bob 3.12, you're doing quite nice. Okay, don't try to escape your little area right there. I should probably also build you, like, a little custom tree you can kind of scout on top of, Yeah. Yeah, Bob. Um, we should probably also get, like, a, a mate for Bob 3.0, just in case, you know, something happens to Bob 3.0. You know, we always have, um, you know, a little mate, uh, a little wife to carry the baby, you know what I mean? Um, you know, just, just so we have, like, a little wife, you know, that can carry on the legacy of Bob, because, you know, we don't want Bob, the, the Bob blood, bloodline going extinct, you know what I mean? Alright, we got our cougars in here. Hello, do you want some fish? Some fish? No, no fish today. Hmm, must not be hungry. Alright. Um, so yeah, there we go. Oh, you know, they're growling pretty, pretty nicely. Oh man, look at this. Some forest ranger dudes clearing out all the, the, all the trees around here. So basically, this episode is basically just consisting of me, you know, talking and trying to clear out all the areas around here, you know, for our little forest exhibits. Let's see, do I have any other spare shears on me? Um, because I want to build, like, the little custom tree pretty soon. Uh, no. Um, I guess we can kind of start, like, start on the base a little bit. There's a little block wand there. To basically make, basically make it out of dirt. So, the little giant tree, uh, is gonna go right here. So I figure we could kind of, like, start just making the base shape for it. And it's gonna be a giant tree. I'm not just talking about some, like, little tree. No, it's gonna be a big thing. Big old thing. Um, ooh, maybe, like, right over here we could, like, give it roots. But, I don't know. Maybe that'd be cool to have, like, little roots down here. That'd be so cool. Oh, man. Looks like someone's getting arrested over there. Anyway, so, uh... Yeah, we got this over here. Got this over there. Just gonna put some wood in here. So, the tree will go right here, um, as for our zoo entrance. And so, when you go out of the tree right here, um, it'll go into, like, a little pathway. The pathway will go down here. And it'll be basically a collection of exhibits going around here. We'll add, like, a little pathway going, like, with 
forest arches and everything. Uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. I love it, you guys. So exciting. So many exciting developments. Um, so yeah, that's where that will go. And, you know, just one step at a time as we work in the zoo. All right, so I'm going to clear all this out. Make it all more flat. There we go. We want flat areas. Oh my gosh, there are so many policemen patrolling the, the road tonight. Literally one in the morning. Oh, jeez. All right, yep. Not how late I'm staying up making these videos for you guys. Because that's how much I care. That's how much I love doing Zoo Desia, you guys. But, all right. So, we got this going on here. Oh my gosh, I got a light. All right, you guys. So, as you can see, we've cleared a little bit of trees around here. I need to finish clearing this all out. You know, making room for all of our exhibits. Um, we're going to be making the uh, Cougar Catamount Lion exhibit. Just kind of like the little base for it. Um, and we'll be kind of working from there. And just adding plants around it as well. But, all right, you guys. So, I am so tired. I'm going to go ahead and go to bed, you guys. So, I'll see you in the next episode, you guys. Goodbye!